you. In the midst of all the action in London is royal expert and biographer Ingrid Seward. Good to see you, Ingrid. Good morning. So we've been following the story of Meghan Markle's father today. Meghan Markle released a statement that he will not be attending the wedding. Any word on how the bride-to-be is sort of coping with this news? Well, I mean, it's been extraordinary because one minute he's been saying he wants to come. The next minute he's saying he can't come because of his ill health. And then yesterday um, it was announced again, not officially through Kensington Palace, but, th but through T TCZ, that um, TMZ, sorry, that um, he, he, he was going into hospital because he'd had a heart scare. So it's been like more Kardashian than a royal this wedding so far. It seems to be absolutely chaotic. But of course, everybody is loving it because it's the sort of thing that could happen to all of us. You know, people come in, people come out, they say they are coming, then people get upset. It's just uh, people can relate to this chaos in a way that we haven't been able to with any other royal wedding. Indeed. What is a wedding without some family drama? And obviously this is on a royal level. Do we have any idea who then will walk her down the aisle? Because Meghan is such a modern lady, I think that she will want her mum to walk her down the aisle because, after all, it was her mother that nurtured her and looked after her throughout her childhood. And now the mother could be, you know, giving her away on her big day. Um, and, you know, she can't walk down that aisle on her own. Um, so I think that the mother would be the most comforting person to guide her into her new life. But also it could be someone like maybe Prince Charles. He could step in um, and he could say, well, you know, look, I'm experienced at this. I, I've walked down this aisle a few times before. I'll take you. It's actually her decision. So we know that rehearsals have been taking place for the past few days. Have we learned anything new about the ceremony? Um, we, we've heard that about the bridesmaids and the pages. There's going to be ten bridesmaids and pages, and the youngest is only two years old. So, I think they will be the scene stealers for, for this <laughs> ceremony because these little kids are just going to be so excited. Can you imagine? I remember back in the day. I think it was Fergie's wedding when Prince William was a little uh, sailor-suited page. I mean, the cameras just couldn't keep off him, and he was fiddling and jiggling and poking a little bridesmaid neck to him with his finger. Um, so I think we're going to have a lot of fun, and I think that will really lighten the atmosphere of what must have been so difficult for Meghan and Harry. Um, you know, the, the intrusion, her dad, will he, won't he, um, and, and also this enormous media presence here at Windsor Castle. And finally, Ingrid, I mean, what about Prince Philip? I think everybody is hoping uh, that Prince Philip will be able to accompany Queen Elizabeth, Her Majesty, uh, as uh, she watches these the wedding nuptials take place. Have you heard if Prince Philip will be able to attend? Yes, well, we, we saw Prince Philip was around here last weekend with the Windsor Horse Show, where he, where he always attends, and he drove there um, himself. And you know, age 96, and with a new hip. So I'm absolutely certain because Prince Philip is the sort of man that he sets himself goals. You know, when you're old and probably not very, you know, not very well, if you can say, well, this is what I'm going to set myself a goal to do, and he set himself a goal to attend this wedding. So he will certainly be here. Whether he will walk down the aisle or not, or, or will already be seated, I don't know. But I guess knowing him. Um, he, he will, you know, be walking very straight and tall, and he, he'll make it. I'm absolutely certain of that. All right, Ingrid Soward, thank you very much. Thank you so much.